Welcome to Eternal Lorenzi Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 14, Open Source Concepts. Content of this video is what is open source and what are the things related with it. First of all, we must know what is a proprietary software. Proprietary software is owned by an organization or individual. The marks of proprietary software have not allowed the users or other developers to view or edit the source code. So when you install a software, that its software belongs to a particular organization or an individual and we are not able to edit anything, then it is said to be a proprietary software. Even we have to pay and buy that software. But the advantage of the proprietary software is that it gives more control, support, training, security and stability for user, making the software reliable to the users. Why this point is mentioned here is, there is another software which is different from proprietary software. So proprietary software means it is a licensed software and it belongs to an organization or an individual and it cannot be edited or modified by any one of them except the soft, uh, organization or the individual who owns it. Then the concept is there is a free software. The free software concept developed in 1980s by MIT computer science researcher Richard Stallman who defined four conditions as outlined by the non-profit free software foundation. As all the softwares are a paid version and it costs more, he developed a concept for free software. These four freedoms emphasizes the ability of users to use and enjoy software as they see fit. A program is free software if the program's users have the four essential freedoms. What are they? The freedom to run the program as you wish for any purpose. A freedom to study how the program works and change it, change it so it does your computing as you wish. Access to the source code is a precondition for this. Next is a freedom to redistribute copies so you can help others. A freedom to distribute copies of your modified versions to others. By doing this, you can give the whole community a chance to benefit from your changes. Access to the source code is a precondition for this. So the Richard Stallman designed the four freedom to have a free software concept. Then what does open source? The term open source refers to something people can modify and share because it designs it's publicly accessible. Open source software has been developed by a variety of programmers. However, to add a new change to the software, the modified code will be submitted to a group of dedicated programmers. So it can change, it can changeable and after the modification it is submitted for the set of people and they have to confirm it. These programmers then test the modified codes and it is satisfies the appropriate rules. It will then be distributed to all. So what's the difference between open source software and free software? Freeware usually refers to proprietary software that users can download at no cost but whose source code cannot be changed. But open source software refers to the ability to download and modify software without restrictions or charge. This is the difference. Then there is a uh, National Resource Center for Free and Open Source Software is an institution of Government of India. So this organization, it helps in development of free open source software in India and it takes care of all the things. Then there is another thing, BOSS, Bharat Operating System Solutions. Uh, is developed in India by CDAC, that is Center for Development of Advanced Computing, helps to prom prompt the use of open source software in India and it supports many Indian languages. 
then there is a concept open source license that means who is going to uh, take care of this and who is going to modify the software the simplest explanation is that open source license are legal and binding contracts between the author and the user of a software component declaring that the software can be used in commercial applications under specified conditions this license is what turns code into a open source component there are many open source licenses the general public license gpl a uh, gnu library or lesser general public license uh, then apache license then bsd revised license simplified or free bsd license apart from that uh, microsoft public licenses mit license mozilla public license eclipse and common development and distribution license so what we learned in this video what is a proprietary software it is a paid version software belongs to your organization or a individual free software it can be downloaded free open source software it can be downloaded and it can be modified and it is uh, uh, maintained or supervised by many organization and one organization belongs to the india then another one is so ncfoss that belongs to open source software of india organization then there are many open source software licenses uh, many companies are giving the open source software license so these things we discussed in this video learn well thank you have a good day